Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel Silas Creations and I believe you all are doing great. Our today project is a dog's lover special and uh, this project is loved by so many people and I decided to share with my YouTube followers as well. Today I'm going to teach you how to create this adorable dog's print fabric special face mask. This project is so much fun and I'm sure you're gonna love it. Before heading down to the project, if you're new to my channel and just stopping by, I teach sewing, cooking and DIY projects, just go ahead and subscribe so you can get all the further updates related with this channel. If you're already a regular subscriber, I'm sure you're already enjoying all the wonderful projects over here. So let's go ahead and start it our two-day adorable project. So this special mask making project is we are making special for dogs lover. As you can see, we have adorable dogs print fabric in front of us. This fabric is from Walmart and you can easily find it. And also, I just love the way they have so many different dogs collection. Okay, so especially for these kind of fabrics who have a Pacific pictures or print which you want to have on your uh, mask uh, the face fitted mask is perfect for those kind of fabrics if you have a regular print you know just like a flowers a spring or any kind of regular print where you don't have a, any pacific pictures like we have here you can even make a pleated face mask they are good for that but if you have a picture you must have a face fitted mask and as i already have teach on my channel how to prepare this regular face fitted um, pattern mask pattern so simply we just we just gonna select a picture which one is your favorite pattern and you just gonna draw this template on that okay as i have already cutted my fabrics here so just to save our time the all the method is same which i already have a show in my couple videos okay so that's that's will help you to just follow the quicker directions so here we had needed a two patches of our front fabric as you can see i have select two different pretty pictures from that fabric and then i have a backing in a different color I like to use a backing in a different colors. First of all, you can easily reverse build your mask. And the second, you can see easily the difference between the front side and the back side. You know, that, that will really help you out, okay? So the simple, yes, we already have a cut the fabric, then we have a needed the, you know, if you wanna do a nose bending bridge i have here the garling wire i will show you how to use it as i already show in my other videos and the, so many people had asked me questions about those uh, elastic loops so here they are you can see i have a bunch here so the 60 individual are the black one and the 60 individual are the white one white one here and the total pairs are 60 okay so the that's mean the 30 pairs i have a white and 30 pairs i have a black so you can pick and choose you know you can easily find on amazon these things all right so uh, without wasting our time we're just gonna head to our sewing machine we just are going to place the right side to right side together here okay and the same with our backing and we are just going to sew around on a curvy area in a circle and on a quarter inch distance. So let's head to our sewing machine now. Okay, so the next step is we're just gonna take, make a couple cuts. As I had told always in my videos, because it's a curvy, it's a little circle. So we wanna make sure 
the curve is round and make sure you are not cutting the stitches all right so now we're just going to iron on top of stitches and then we will flip our fabric and move all our the seam allowance fabric on one side and we are going to stitch on a quarter inch okay and same thing we are going to do on our right side fabric here as well on a quarter inch distance that will just help us to have all the stitches on one side and put, protect all our uh, seam allowance fabric and not to have a bulkiness in our center okay so let's head to sewing machine now so as you can see after ironing our both patches are ready so the next step simply we're just gonna open them we are going to put right side to right side okay inside here and the both wrong sides are outside in the simply we're just gonna lining up the center lines with each other As you can see how I have a place the pins on the bottom and on a top. So we're just going to sew from the bottom and on a top, but we're going to leave opening sides. Okay. And if you're a beginner, you don't know how to use a sewing machine. You can even use a hand needle, you know, and if you don't have a sewing machine, hand needle, just use a fabric glue or whatever. All you just have to close those two tubes. Okay. So let's head to our sewing machine now. all right so now we are just going to flip our mask inside out and the next process is very important you have to iron on top of all those stitches okay as you know as you know we have a stitch from top to bottom so we simply just gonna you know hand press first all the stitches on the back of back of back of our backing and then we simply just gonna fold with the fingers and by holding it then we will press on top of those uh, stitches we want to have all those uh, stitches uh, straight and the fabric should be look like very crispy okay so let's head to our ironing board and i will iron this and then i will be back to show you the next process okay as you can see we have ironed our mask and also i have a folded inside i had a tuck inside quarter inch fabric on both sides so now the next process is i have my nose bending bridge wire here we're just gonna tuck this inside as well insert on the top of upper side all right and you know it's easy to do that and make sure all the seam allowance from inside they should be on a back or on a front you cannot have a bulkiness inside of those uh, you know the fabric inside okay so just feel with your hand i like to keep those all stitches on a back and have a wire at front fabric all right it's up to you if you want to have all the stitches at the front or at the back 
all right just feel the wire I'm just gonna make sure all the stitches they all are on one side okay here you go and pinning up so my wire stay up I'm I'm using the pins the waist so it's give the support to the wire so wire don't come down okay so that's the technique you can use as well now you see that since the wire is inside now you can feel the distance of the wire and you can adjust by moving the wire around okay so i almost have the same kind of distance on both sides and the next process is we're simply just gonna insert these elastic loops also on a side you can use a pin or you can just do directly on a sewing machine while you have a pin you know your stitching pin you can just insert and sew on top of there so let's head to our sewing machine now also there's another tip when you come around your elastic just do back for stitch so you are securing your elastic okay and when you're moving your fabric make sure your pin is inside down and then you can easily move your fabric by keeping up the same thread and continually And I'm also going to do a quarter inch stitch, second stitch on the sides too, just to bring more neatness. Thank you so much for watching our two day sewing project. And as you can see, we have created this adorable dog prints special fabric face mask if you really get inspired by our today project and you have liked our today project please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to hit like subscribe and share with your family and friends so many people can learn about this project i love you all be safe wherever you are and have a lovely fabulous day Bye bye